YouTubers, unless we're at Jim here. Well, it's been two weeks since I've been out to the shelter, and since then we've had a foot of snow, followed by two inches of rain, and then a couple of days later, followed by about another six inches of snow. So in metric, that's 30 centimeters, 20 millimeters, and then 15 centimeters on top of that. So. I'm really not sure what to expect. Um, well, yeah, I sort of, sort of have an idea of what to expect. I expect that the weight of all that snow and ice is going to have torn through my um, the canopy that's sticking out in front of the hoop shelter. So I brought a repair kit and uh, some supplies to make a cup of tea. So. Um, Anyway, that's my plan for this afternoon. So, if you're interested, why don't you join me? Now, I've also set up a couple of trail cameras. Um, one on this path here. and my newest trail camera at the camp. So um, I'm going to collect those chips as well and see if anything's on them. Right now I can see that some dog-like creature walked through here. Those prints there. So I'm hoping that the camera that I set up on this trail, I'm, I'm hoping the batteries were still good enough to take pictures of whatever that was. Another fairly recent trail cutting through this way, going that way. Oh, we passed the camera. There's the camera that I'm hoping took some pictures. Turn it on. So hopefully that captured something. You can see the sun still fairly high in the sky. It's um, about three in the afternoon, so I've got lots of daylight left. No tracks here.
more here again. Well, there's the shelter. And it actually looks better than I expected. nearby footprints. There's a squirrel here, gray squirrel. And then there's another animal walked around there. A small dog or something. And here's my camera. If you look in this direction. Not much, just some some tracks right over there beside the shelter. Let's take a look. Wow. That looks like a hoof print. And I think if it was a hoof print, it would have sunk in a lot deeper than that. Sometimes snow will fall from branches and leave an impression in the snow below that sort of looks like a print. But So anyway, you have to kind of look around to see if you can see other prints associated with the first imprint that you saw. Well, there's one that looks like a hoof print. A little, a little further up, can't really see anything that looks like a hoof print. But anyway, there are some cracks right there, so let's go take a look at those. to tell what it is or what it was. It comes from in that direction there. The prints are kind of sloppy edged looking. Almost makes me think that there were longer toes in it than like a dog. So I'm almost thinking that it was a porcupine or a raccoon. Just checking out the shelter. There aren't any footprints on the inside, so they just came to the edge, looked inside, and then turned around and went back the other way. Now, hopefully, that other trail cam took a video of it so we can see it later on. Well, I've got to uh, knock some snow off of this canopy and dig this entryway out a little bit. So I'll catch you in a few minutes. Okay, all right, that pretty well takes care of that. It's kind of sagging there. I'll have to fix that up.
Should have brought a snow shovel instead of this shovel. Or in addition to this shovel. Yeah, that's better. Next time I'll bring a real snow shovel. Well, everything here looks the way it should be. As you can see, all my stuff is here. Firewood. Nothing's been disturbed. Well, time to make some tea. I mean, alcohol stove today. Canteen cup. I keep my sooty canteen cup inside a Ziploc bag just so then it doesn't get soot all over the place. And the lid. And fuel. I don't know if you can read that or not, but anyway, this yellow container, I wrote fuel on it with a uh, permanent marker. But unfortunately, some of the alcohol spilled on it and kind of wore it out. Uh, but anyway, I can, I can see how much fuel I have here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. But anyway, there's a, a gauge there that, uh, that shows you how much fuel you have left, so that's like half full. This is a four ounce container. Um, I don't know what that is in metric. Okay, let's get started. Feel some heat coming off of that. I don't know if you can see the flames there. Okay, we just have to wait a couple of minutes until that starts to boil. the flame now. It seems to boil at a perfect height right about there. So when I put it down lower, it's like I'm turning the heat down. the right amount. 
or very close to the right amount anyway. Nice hot cup of tea. Well, I gotta say, I'm really pleased that this didn't collapse, this canopy here, didn't collapse under the weight of all that ice and snow. I meant to get out here a week ago to check on it, but that weekend I was too busy doing other things around the house and uh, didn't get a chance to come out. And then of course I worked Monday to Friday, so uh, that kind of cuts that opportunity as well. So, anyway, uh, we are supposed to get another storm on Monday into Tuesday. Um, my wife said it's supposed to be about 30 centimeters, so another foot. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, really pleased at how it stood up. For those of you that don't know, this is the third winter for this tarp shelter. And uh, the previous two winters, we had a lot of snow. Nothing like this. Like, this is nothing. Like, I can still see the bench over there. In previous years, it was buried. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And hope to catch you next time. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.